Let's see if I can get you to have some fun here. <laughs> Old Fumblemitz strikes again. The catchphrase is, now you're thinking like Dan. Oh, there he is! Most people don't throw these in a fire. They don't do that. There goes a responsible young golden boy with a little golden stash. That's how you do it. To start the season! a little story about Izzy. I don't want to go through the gruesome details, but the fact is, over the course of the last four years, she has now found a way to eat the turds of three members of the FDH team. She marked Fulmets off her list about a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Izzy, it's so disgusting. You've got to stop doing it. We're just uh, waiting for old Fumblemitz. He called and said he's a little bit late. Two hunts left. And this guy over here is in the war path for his hundredth duck. One duck left. One duck left for his It's gonna hundredth. happen today. We hope. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. How many hunts have in a row have we been or it's been super cold? I mean, I guess last weekend wasn't super cold, but. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It's 50 degrees out here. It's Four. Like I haven't heard one sound quite like that before. What do you think they're saying? Probably giving us the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Fumblemitz. What you got to say? Okay, what I got to say? I'm late. You think that uh, Golden Scout's gonna shoot his 100th duck today? Yeah. He's got two hunts left to do it. You think it'll happen today? Yeah, I do. Let's face it, everywhere he goes, he shoots a couple birds. <laughs> Sometimes more than a couple. We'll see. He never fails. Golden is golden, <laughs> no matter how you slice it. <laughs> so you don't believe in golden probation, then? Well, I think it's a good idea to threaten him with it once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But actual probation, no. That's right. <laughs> Just the threat. He's all... The threat of it's all he needs to keep him in gear. Always golden. <laughs> so the plan today is we got a walk-in ahead of us. We move from the river to a reservoir, and we got about a quarter to half mile walk here. Good job. All right, so, is that a teal? It's a guy. Aiden's got a hundred, yay! Our goal of the day is accomplished on the first shot. How you feel about your hundredth duck? I'm pretty relieved, <laughs> honestly. You were afraid you were going to get stuck yeah, on 99. I was a little worried there, especially with last Saturday, no ducks. Number 100 was so. a Gadwall. Gadwall drink. Good I'll job. take it. <laughs> All right, so we shot that goose. That's a nice take. Candy's, there it is. Candy's going to retrieve it. Some pretty good waves today. We're trying to get in the lee of this Man. peninsula. I'm glad you killed him, but I'm annoyed with myself. The giant corn from Cornshire. Corn of the forest. Here, hey, give it up. Whipper. What'd you bring to eat? Let me see. What'd you got there? <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just Those things are disgusting too. We got a real windy one today. The wind is right at our back. 
And we picked this cove here because it's out of the wind. But the wind is blowing so hard that even this cove isn't protected from it. I mean, it's just overpowering our decoys. That's ah, super annoying. The wind is directly at our back. I mean, it's just these waves are coming around the corner. The waves are not the direction of the wind. The wind is blowing that direction. So it's from here to there. It's just blowing so hard today. We may have to get out of here and go try some of the river spots or something because this is just... The wind is wreaking havoc on us. We got the two, a goose and a gadwall. Golden's 100th bird. What do you think, kids? We're not shooting any ducks. We're not seeing hardly any ducks. What are we going to do, Elliot? Now we're going to head to the river and put on the river and run five to ten miles trying to find ducks because this is not working. There's too much wind in here. So we're going to, it's only nine. When we get moving, we can help still have a lot of day left. We are picking up and heading to the river. Okay, well, here we are. We did a lot of driving around. We went to the river, couldn't find any open boat ramps. So we decided to come to a marsh that we were hoping it opened up. And sure enough, there's some opening here and there's some ducks here. So it's about 1.30 right now. Uh, and we're gonna set here for at least two and a half hours, at least till four, if not longer, and just kind of see, see what happens. But at least we got a game to play here. and Got some open water. The man, King of the, the corn man. <laughs> Let's see your javelin throw. <laughs> he is some kind of cool. No artificial club colors. No preservatives. Quality yeah, ingredients. Organic. I'd say that it is organic. It is organic. It's got no artificial colors, quality ingredients, and no preservatives. And Izzy wants Chef Boyardee, but it's not happening. I'll tell you guys a little story about Izzy. I don't want to go through the gruesome details. But the fact is, over the course of the last four years, she has now found a way to eat the turds of three members of the FDH team. I will not say which members it is, but when she sees someone going to the woods, having to relieve themselves of a stomach ache or some type of symptoms like that, I know what she did. She, she runs and looks exactly where they're going, then she runs back over and sits with me. And then the first chance she gets, she disappears into the woods. And I told one of the team members today, which it's a little embarrassing, so we're not gonna mention who it is. I told him today, I was like, she's marked it, and as soon as she gets a chance, she's going back there. And yep, we stood up. I went to go maneuver the decoys, and boom, she's gone in the woods. So right now, she's three for three, and she's going for the Grand Slam. Izzy, you ought to be, you ought to be really ashamed of yourself. <laughs> so, she marked Fomalmets off her list about a month ago. Yeah. How <laughs> sickening is that? Gee. Let me just tell you, if you're going to the woods with, with Izzy, you need to take a shovel. Yeah. A big shovel. Dig that sucker out. <laughs> so it's crazy how she marks it and then goes back for it later. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs have, they hide their bones so they can remember it, that kind of stuff. Anybody want a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Lizzie, it's so disgusting. You've got to stop doing it. What do you have to say for yourself? Come on, stop. It's gross. Sure is pretty right now. You think the wind has really died down, or we just tucked in here? I think it's really died. It has died down. I mean, it was really whistling too. Uh huh. 
Yeah, maybe it'll pick up. Maybe we'll still get something here. It's beautiful out. <clears throat> Let me guess, you're thinking about going home. No, I'm just bored. Sell some Chef Boyardee, I got a whole nother can. No, I'm fine. I really no candy. Well, if nothing's happened, at least come and sit over here where you can be a smart ass. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta use your talent, man. Yeah. Being a smart ass is his number one talent. <laughs> That's the thing why I like him so much. It's funny. I don't know. I got a lot of other talents. Hey, Jeff, do you remember that time that you put my life at peril? Which time? Oh, well, the time that he knew I was getting up at 2 and he wouldn't stop texting me up until about 1 o'clock. Peril? Peril? Jeopardy? Yeah, in peril. Do you remember that? When you wouldn't stop texting me over and over and over again? What were you mad at me about? I forget. <clears throat> you were mad at me about something. Yeah, I was. And you were trying to get me back. Yeah, I did too, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> finally, I was like, finally, I. He, he told me he was going to block me. I was. I said, look, I don't know how to unblock people. If you don't stop, I'm going to block you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what you were mad at me about. It was something you had actually had a legitimate reason to be yes. mad at me. Yes, I did. Because I remember kind of feeling bad about it, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was because you didn't say anything when I went the wrong way that day. Oh. I, <laughs> I still am never. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I remember saying that. He, like, he was walking. Here. He was walking back to the to the uh, boat ramp, and he was. He was. I saw him going off the wrong way, and I just chuckled to my dad. It's like Jeff's going the wrong way. <laughs> that sucked. He had to go through cattails. He ended up puncturing a hole in his waders. <laughs> I, I thought that you would probably. I thought that you would probably figure it out. I, I figured out where it was, but it was just. Just too far. <laughs> I was just like, I'm just gonna go back to the. You went so the wrong way. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that you did have a legitimate reason to be mad at me when you're texting me. <laughs> 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 Well, it is 4.45 and Bumbles and Corn are walking on out of here and Golden and the Poop Eater and I are going to, I don't know if we'll, the sunset's 5.36, so I don't know. We've had certainly had an influx in duck movement and actually ducks coming and trying to land in this pool, but nothing really swinging on us, so we're going to give it a little more time and see what happens. Well. Tomorrow is the last hunt, the last duck hunt of the 2017-2018 waterfowl season. Tomorrow is the last one. And hopefully it'll be better than today. We ended up so far, I mean, we've got a few more minutes left. But we got two green wings, a gadwall, and a goose. And we have been out a long time. 12 plus hours. We've been at it, so. But this has still been an enjoyable day. I mean, we honestly, we don't need piles and piles of birds to have fun. It's, it's not about the piles of birds. We're gonna come back to the same spot in the morning. I actually have some decent hope for this place in the morning.